A bat is um, something that's a massive part of a cricketer's equipment. Uh, what I look for in a bat is the weight of the bat. It must be conducive to how um, I want to play. If the bat's too heavy for a youngster, he won't be able to, to pick it up and swing it as competently or confidently as if it was the right weight or even a little bit lighter. Because he can't do that, he would then start making minor adjustments in another part of his technique to compensate for a heavy bat. So uh, he'd be developing a technique that's not sustainable. If you think about the time spent on uh, getting uh, your kids in the right size shoes, you've got to think of it just as important as that because an incorrect bat size or weight can affect the technique uh, of a younger child. I'll also look at the, the quality of the willow. I think the five different grades for the professionals. They would choose from a, a one plus range, but the willow range goes right down to grade four, which would be used by maybe absolute beginners and people being introduced to the game. The actual size of it wasn't massively important, but how it felt, I thought, was. So I would spend a bit of time going through lots of bats to see how it feels, uh, just to make sure that one complemented what I wanted. Once I've got the size and the weight, then it was a, a kind of funneling down process. So I've got a number of bats I think, oh, I quite like all of those, how they feel. And yeah, of course, how the ball feels on the bat is massively important. So kind of testing the ball on the bat will give you an idea of the quality of the bat.